Okay, we are in an attic again. We are activating a passive radon system. Hi, my name is Scott. I'm a radon mitigator in Virginia. I make videos for other radon mitigators and those looking to get into the business. If you're a homeowner, you can stay and hang out. Check out www.nrsb.org. That's National Radon Safety Board. Plug in your zip code and it'll put you in touch with a certified radon professional in your area. This is probably my third video about um, being in attics and activating passive systems. When you do work in an attic, you, you want to be prepared. So here's some tricks I use. I use a sled. Matter of fact, I used this very same sled in a crawl space yesterday. <laughs> they come in real handy for sliding stuff across joists. You want to be prepared and just set all your stuff up just like a doctor doing surgery. They don't just start cutting, they, they set their stuff up. You want to know where everything is and it just makes the job go a lot smoother. Usually I'm smart enough to have a fan right there pumping cool air up in here. I'm a little rusty quite frankly. It just it's just turned spring and I haven't done one of these in a while so I've been uh, a little spoiled and, and uh, just flat forgot but we're gonna press on I'm not I'm not burning up yet okay even though I use a headlamp I'm a big fan of setting up a light or two uh, it just can't hurt and uh, fortunately we are in a situation where there is a light in this attic and I'll be able to tap into that for the uh, juice to fire up the fan What I wanted to show you today, this is why you want to carry quite a few fans. My fan of choice is the uh, AMG Festa fans. These right here, I always keep one of these radon away fans. They're a touch smaller. You're going to see a lot of these. Uh, th these were really big uh, for the past, you know, 10, 15, 20 years. I, I just simply like these better and I've got a good relationship going with Daryl Festa who sells them to me. And every now and again, I need them. This, this right here is right up against the side of the home and I don't have a lot of wiggle room to get the fan I usually use in. So there's a good chance I might need to use that. That's why I always keep one. So uh, let's see how we do. Okay, so we just barely squeezed it in. So this is an 8 inch diameter fan and this is a 10 inch diameter fan and sometimes it comes down to that inch uh, on either side um, if you're going to get the thing in without rebuilding all of this. Again I use this fan now pretty much exclusively just basically have an 8 inch fan that way you'll be prepared. If this is all I carried and I couldn't have made it I would have either had to order another one or rebuild all this in some daffy way to accommodate that. Um, so anyway, be prepared. That's the moral of the story. So another reason why I like these AMG Festa fans, they come with these um, doodads. <laughs> I don't want to get too technical on you, but I, I don't have to fool with wire nuts. So that's a really nice feature that I appreciate. Okay, so we've activated the system and we're moving a good bit of air. Uh, that's, that's a nice reading there. And I just want to show you a little bit of follow through. Uh, occasionally you'll have gaps where the wall meets the floor and you want to fill those in with silicone. I carry uh, clear and white. That's all I really need. White would obviously stand out a little, little bit much here and uh, we wouldn't want that, especially in here. Um, had a pretty severely cracked floor and this is relatively new construction. So it kind of alarmed me when I came in and uh, I thought that possibly there was a gravel problem underneath here. I, I couldn't say exactly why this is cracked. I mean, I guess cars weigh a lot, but perhaps the uh, gravel wasn't compacted enough when they poured the floor. That's my best guess. Um, don't see any cracks in this part of the, uh, the house and it's unfinished so I can see it too. Went over there and sealed quite a bit on that side of the wall. This wall was pretty in pretty good shape. So that's, that's the follow through that you're gonna wanna do when you activate these systems. Uh, yeah, I hope that helped. All right, thanks for watching and uh, hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Put out lots of content and hope this helps. All right, have a good day.